All right, guys, what's up? I'm here with my man, Brandon McCatherine. Um, he has, he's an awesome, amazing jiu-jitsu black belt under Eddie Bravo. And he was actually my first mastermind client. And he's been in the mastermind group for over two years now. And it's just been awesome watching this guy grow and watching him help the group grow. And um, we just have an amazing little mastermind group. It's not for everyone. You know, but um, it's it's just amazing seeing these success stories. And I just wanted to just take a quick couple minutes and just talk about like Brandon's his whole journey that he's been on the last couple of years. And I've seen um, I mean, you tell him you tell him kind of like where you were whenever you started working with the group and everything. And everyone in the group, including myself, have grown the last couple of years, man. It's like we're like a tight niche entrepreneur family. Yeah, so um, my when I first started with the Mastermind Group, my gym had a, somewhere between forty and fifty members, something like that. I can't remember exactly now. It's been a, something it's, like that, but it's between forty and fifty members, and most of those, to be honest, were like grandfathered in, like old rates. Some of the guys were still paying fifty dollars a month. You know what I mean? So. I was scraping by. If I could get a private lesson, I would scramble and take it. Like, yes, oh, God, I need that money. You know what I mean? And uh, now, uh, directly, as a, as a direct result of the strategies and the uh, help that Alan, specifically Alan, but also the rest of the Mastermind group, has, because of the direction that they've given me, we've gone from – 40 members to closing in on 200 now. Um, and we still have some guys that are grandfathered in at $50 a month, but now to join our gym is $170 per month. And you have to do $199 on your first day to join. So the gym has completely changed. Uh, during that time, you would think, Oh no, um, I'm sorry. You would think, well, the culture probably took a dive. Actually, the culture has improved dramatically since that time. Right. Um, because I don't feel mm. pressured any longer to take clients that I don't want. Exactly. Because I'm relieved now of that pressure. You haven't That's watered it down. You haven't watered it down. You haven't sold out. No, nope, none like of that. that. In fact, I feel more committed to the to teaching pure jujitsu, like when I say pure, like technically pure, beautiful jujitsu than ever before. Cause I don't feel pressured to bring people in because I need the money anymore. I don't need the money. anymore. I can just teach martial arts the way I want to learn. So yeah. also during that time, uh, I've set up an online, I don't want to say empire yet, but that's what I'm trying to do. I want to be like, you know, like I'm starting a jujitsu record label over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, uh, I'm Jay Z in it up. I don't know what that means. So I'm, uh, I've got my online, my website, brandonmc.ninja, www.brandonmc.ninja. It's just an online site where uh, I teach jujitsu and you can subscribe to it. And now I'm up, I'm closing in on 600 members on that site in this. So what is today's December 28th or 27th, 28th, mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. The site's been up less than 13 months. So just over a year, it opened December of last year and I went to 600 minutes. So that changed my life. Actually last month I made more profit online than I made from my actual gym. So awesome. if my gym closed down tomorrow, I could survive and feed my family with not that much stress just off of my, without a job, just off of my online business. Awesome. I say without a job. It is a job. Yeah. It's work. But it's the work that I intended to do and that I enjoy doing. Man. Yeah, so my, my story going through. And it's just a, it's the lifestyle. Made. It's the lifestyle of, of being able to be free and do what you want to do. You built this whole thing, your gym, your online um, your membership site, everything that you're doing. Now the people that you're partnering with, you're starting to produce other people. That's all in 
in the realm of your passion, what you want to do, the people that you want to hang out with. Yes. Yeah, you're, yes. you're partner with Johnny, partner with, with Cole Miller, you know, and these are people that you want to spend time with. So, and also we were talking a minute ago, you don't work more. As your income goes up, you're not working more now than you were on day one, two years no, ago. No, I still work dramatically less. Like, when I say work, I train, you know, as much as I want to, more than I should, really, to be honest with you. I need to take an extra day off your mountains. <laughs> but when I say work, I'm talking about the parts of running a business that nobody wants to do. Like, right. that you have to pay somebody minimum wage to do. Like, clean the mats. It, I still clean the mats because I took take pride in that. But I don't like mopping the bathroom, so I don't have to mop the bathroom anymore. You know what I mean? Like those kind of things. I just have removed myself out of the bottleneck at the top of the business and through the strategies that I've learned from you guys as I got myself out of the way. Now I've got a clear, full stream that the business can operate through. And yes. removing myself from the process actually makes it function better. Yeah, I think so. I think so. That's when you can really... I learned that from you guys. That was, that was from... Not this past mastermind, maybe two mastermind retreats ago. Mm -hmm. You're really trying to, yeah, it was at least two. Might have been the first one, actually, Coach. But you were driving home that CEO mindset, yeah. getting out of the operations mindset, yeah. and getting to the CEO and out of the owner well, I think, and the CEO mindset. Yeah, and a lot of people think that to have that, yeah, that have that CEO, investor, entrepreneur mindset. That you have to be, you have to want to be a millionaire or a billionaire, and you don't. You can do that on a very small level, you know. Because I, I often hear people say, "Well, I just want to keep it small, and then I'll teach the classes and I'll do the sales, and I'm happy with this income or whatever." But when you I don't get, think they don't understand. They're not because I used to think the same thing. Yeah, but I didn't understand the thinking that was going on. I'll, you know, like. Kind of like uh, in jujitsu, man, you can't understand what a black belt is talking about when you're in a white belt. Right. They'll say, like, <laughs> I got this friend, he, he, he'll he try to teach you some jujitsu. He's an amazing, he's the best jujitsu player I know. But he, he, he's like, no, no, look, I'll just use my chest like a hand. I'm like, dude, nobody can understand that. Nobody knows what you're talking about. You're too <laughs> high level. Nobody can use their chest like that. And so that is kind of in the beginning, you know, when you're thinking about keeping it small. You can keep it small, but that doesn't mean you have to keep working. You got to think higher. You got to use your chest like a hand. Yeah, that's, <laughs> pretty, that's pretty good. One. Nobody ever understands what it's pretty good saying. stuff. But yeah, now man, it's it's um, even on the small. It doesn't have anything to do with income. It really has to do with with having a stress free life, being able to take off when you want to. Like you could take off a week go out to California and train with Eddie Bravo if you want to, or you can take your wife. I can, do that. I can do that on no notice. No That's notice. the important point. I don't have to let everybody know, hey, man, next month I'm going to be gone for a week. we got to really get working on these prospects. Like, no. And you don't have to struggle and stress while you're on that vacation or whatever. You can you actually can leverage while you're out there, make some cool videos, because, I mean, that's a lot of what we do, especially you. Video marketing, social media—that's yeah. you put your yourself in a position where your work is video marketing, Facebook it's, ads, it, social media. It can be done anywhere. Yeah. Well, what what I've done is I've set it up to where I am my business. So all I have to do is just document what I do on my social media, on my website, whatever. Mm -hmm. But I just document, film, talk to my phone, post on my group. Just do what I do and what I planned on doing anyway. If nobody was yeah. watching, and that's how the income. And, and, and it's a and it's, it's fun for you to do that too. But yeah, that's what I if like. If you didn't want to, if you didn't want to get on video or whatever anymore, you could figure out a way. Yeah, you could figure out a way to get it done. Yeah, no doubt. Right, for sure. Yeah. But um, anyways, man, just you know, it's I, I've talked to several people about coming into the mastermind group and always try to explain to them, you know, the benefits of it and everything. But I think, you know, hearing it from someone that's been in the group, 
is really important. Like I always point out like the most simple part, not the easy parts, but it's very simple that in our group, the accountability of having that team environment where everyone's kind of helping each other and everyone sees your numbers and everything, the accountability by itself without the information, without, you know, everything else that comes along with it, the retreats and the, you know, uh, the teaching that's involved, you know, we bought, we've brought teachers in, you know, experts. I'm not a know-it-all. I don't know everything. So I, I hire people, I bring people in, we work together as a group, but just the accountability alone keeps you being a part of that group and also being around people that are like-minded that are, that are on the same level as you. You're not hanging out with your students all the time. You get to hang out with other people that have the same goals. Yeah. They're striving for excellence. You know, just those two things right there is, the is like, that's, that's the two most valuable things in it is the accountability and the networking. Yep. For sure. Well, you know, I was, it's funny. Like, uh, I wouldn't even say that. That sounds ridiculous. So I'll, I'll get out to you. But <laughs> uh, I got out of class yesterday and mm-hmm. I went over and I had three missed calls on my phone. Mm-hmm. I was like, Oh, oh man. Cole Miller, Ben Saunders, Eddie Bravo, Alan Belcher. Those are the four that I had missed. I'm like, dude, I've really leveled up here <laughs> last year. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's UFC fighters and legends. That's the, the people that I'm networking with now. Dude. You dude. know, and it's just, it that sound like, a, you know, this is not going to be a public video. This is just for the people that are going to be in the mastermind, yeah. right? So oh, I yeah. would never, I don't want to be like sounding ridiculous when I say that. Yeah. But, you know, I've leveled up. So yeah, no, it's not putting any of learning from you guys. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you 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 have the choice of who to hang around with, what mastermind group to be in or whatever. So you might as well choose you know, if you're hanging around your students and that you don't have not not that that's bad. You know, but if you're if your people that you interact with every single day are they're happy with a 9 to 5 job, they don't want a business, you will adopt some of that mindset. Yes, well, you'll become it. Yeah, exactly, and that's not—it's not a bad thing for them. But you have to purposely get around other people that are that have some strength that you don't have, or they—they—they they have made it to where you want to be. And that's like in our group, there's some people that have a big kids program, and then other people in the group want that, or they have an after-school program, or they have an online. A lot of the guys in BJJ and MMA and martial arts. They want to take their business online. Guess what? I've done that before. Brandon's done that now. You know, so there's, you should be purposely getting into a group like this with people that, who are where you want to be, you know? Yeah. Right. I love it. Man. It's been, it's been ultra beneficial for me. Um, it's probably been worth, it's definitely been worth six figures to me. Just, just being in the group. That's awesome. So, well, hopefully you become such a multimillionaire one of these days. You just gift me like a a new truck. If I Z71. become a multimillionaire, I will gift you a new truck. <laughs> I can do that. I'm keep not going do like that. you're going now, man. You do it. Get, keep going like you're going now. Well, oh, and let me say this too. You know, like... Another one of the real benefits of being in the mastermind group, maybe maybe even bigger benefit than networking and accountability, is like this call right here. This is not a scheduled mastermind call. Me and but Alan just sat here and took look. He walked me through some pretty high level stuff yeah. over a conference call here. I would have never had access to like you know you pay for time. And yeah. being able to pick your brain today, I mean, that, what yeah. we did today will probably make that, – that'll make me six figures Dude, for sure. I, we, I mean, we came up with a strategy today. Like we were – it wasn't like I was just teaching. Like we were working together building this freaking strategy, you know, because I want to see you succeed. Like that's the most important thing for me. Like that's how my business works. Like being the leader of this mastermind group, like if I can't get people results, then it doesn't, you know – it doesn't work. So like, I'm, I'm obsessed with that. You know, if you're, if you're trying to figure out how to grow your mass, your, uh, your membership site or something, and I can't help you do it. You keep trying things that I tell you or something. Being a different mastermind. 
Exactly, man. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. I'm going to figure it out. You know, whatever, whatever I have to do, that's kind of my mindset behind it. And that's how I think anyone that has a business, you guys out there with gyms or whatever, you should be, you know, doing whatever it takes to, to, uh, bring more people into martial arts and give them the best service possible. You know, otherwise you don't have a business, but yeah, well, this, that, so that's my the thing is like the service, the customer service aspect of the business is, is great. You know, I, I get, I feel like I got access to, especially you just cause I, I know you better. Yeah. But now that Paul and Amy, cause when it was first started, um, you were just kind of the, the point man right? exclusively. But now you've brought in Paul and Amy and they've actually made the group better. Of course. Like it makes the group way better because they just have totally different strengths and ways of seeing a problem yeah. than you do. Absolutely. Um, I don't believe that – I don't believe in personal coaching anymore really. I don't think that – but like what me and you did today was very important. It wasn't really – you know, we were – I wasn't really a coaching. Well, it wasn't like, yeah. I was already touched up. I just needed some exact. But I was the guy to go to today. Really. Yes. I was the guy to go to today. But yeah. if I was the only, you know, if I was the only guy to go to and you needed something else, that, that's why I don't like, pers- I like the group is better because there's, I'm not, I don't have an ego. So there's always somebody that has something, you know, to bring to the table. Some of the people, you know, every once in a while, you know, there's Clay, Clay, you know, Barncat. John David's doing a lot of different things that other people are doing, and, and yeah, yeah, he's doing a lot of different. Stuff. And then Jamie, Jamie has a kind of different business model. It's just like sometimes I'm like, hey, how are you doing that? I want to know how to how to do that too. You know, like I'm not a know it all. I think the power is in the group, but um, well, that's the idea of the mastermind. That's absolutely, it. absolutely, man. All right, cool, man. Well, I appreciate you doing that, and um, um, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, man. I love you. Love you too, brother.